Hey lovelies, this is your girl Carly Chaotic and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how I did some Bantu knots. This is the twist out. This is actually day three hair. My hair tends to get frizzy really, really fast, but there's lots of volume. Um, I would also show you guys what I've been doing to maintain it. Like I said, this is day three. I'm going to try another method, maybe later on, you know, throughout the week. So if you want to see how I got my hair to look like this. <laughs> Keep on watching. So I'm starting off detangling my hair with my Denman brush followed by a rat tail comb. And I'm going to use some of my aloe whipped butter gel on my finger, just a little dab, and massage it in my hair from root to tip. I'm also going to make sure I get some on my edges just to set it that way. I've done this style on blown out hair so you don't want to use too much product as it will revert back to your natural state once it's too damp. Now as far as how to bantu knot, I don't start directly from the root because it will be uncomfortable and it will hurt like you won't even be able to squint. So you start a little away from the root of your hair and just like how you would finger twirl your hair back when you was in school, same thing. Once you begin to form a knot towards the root, I basically just grab one hand just to hold it in place and continue to use whatever hand you were using to twirl it. Now, as you formed that knot, you're going to wrap it around under. So you're going to continue to twirl and wrap as you go. And once you get towards the end of your hair, if you have any little knickknacks, you can comb it out. And it's up to you if you want to use your gel or buttercream or whatever of your choice. Just don't use too much. Just enough for it to twirl and set in place. Or you can use a bobby pin of your, it's up to you really. I didn't want to use bobby pins because it was uncomfortable and I didn't wrap them too tight. Let me get them baby edges real quick. <laughs> okay, so have my satin bonnet. That's what I'm going to be going to sleep in. I hope I don't wake up with no sore head. <laughs> I'm going to bed and in the morning, we'll do the takedown. Hey, hey, so now for the takedown. Give you a 360 turn of how they actually look. What, I am hyped. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little bit of jojoba oil and just massage it on my hand. So as I'm taking it out, it will reduce some of the frizz because my hair tends to get extremely frizzy, especially towards the front half. Okay, so to take it down, you're going to basically twirl it in the opposite direction that you twisted it in. Just like how you would turn a doorknob or a corkscrew. Same method. Here's a close up of basically how I took it down, I guess. Turn it in the opposite direction. Twirl, pull down. This is the part I always hate, but here's the separation. I don't like to separate my hair too much because I can't stretch how frizzy my hair gets. And because it's still short, it just sucks. But I mean, hey, frizz happens. But anyways, to separate, you wanna make sure that you're grabbing it. Most of the time, any type of twist outs or braid outs, whatever you're doing, you usually see where it's breaking up. So I just, Grab it from where it looks like it's separating so it can separate naturally. And you're just gonna finger twirl it once you get towards the end or it will get frizzy. Yeah, and I'm just going to do that to the whole head. Okay, so I'm finally done. Again, I don't like to separate too much, especially on first day hair. 
it to me it already looks frizzy towards the front but again I'm okay with that I like a lot of volume so I'm going to use a little bit more of the oil and I'm just going to massage it from root to tip of my hair just so as I massage my scalp and pick it out it won't look too crazy I learned my lesson last time I showed you guys my twist out tutorial I would not be doing too much I won't go too crazy with the pick today but I mean you pick it to your desire depend and you separate to your desire depending on how much volume you want or how big you want your hair to look um, I like my hair to get big throughout the week so I don't do too much separating or too much picking at the roots and you basically just play with it until you get your desired look and voila here's a close-up here's how it looks just gonna fluff it out a little more but there you go guys thanks for watching